Hi friends, happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Michelle Cottle and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Los Altos United Methodist Church. Today for our Maker Monday series, we're going to make a, a relaxing zen play garden. I don't know what to really call this, but it's a cool thing that you can make and play with over and over again. It's very relaxing and it's a way of focusing. So what you'll need, and I'm gonna do the, show you two options, is a shallow tray, or if you're like me and you're a little clumsy, choose something with a lid so that you can put the lid on it when you're not using it. You'll also need, and this is usually done with sand, but I don't have any sand, and I'm not gonna order sand on the internet, and I don't want sand from the backyard for this. So I grab salt. So you'll need some salt. Um, I think some rocks. I went into my garden and I found these rocks. I washed them in the sink. And things that you can use, I think a fork is great. This is a plastic fork. Or I found these sticks that will be really nice. You can also have other um, Objects, I think I might use this little vase that I found these sticks in, in my Zen garden. So, let's start by writing a word to focus on, on our rocks. So, think about this coming year and what you want to focus on, whether it's patience or self-control. The last couple weeks we've been talking about the fruit of the spirit maybe one of those love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control really speaks to where you want to grow as a person this year and write it on this rock i'm going to write compassion because i think that is what i am focusing on this year And every time you see this word on the rock, you can think about it and reflect on how you're doing really well and when you haven't done as well. All right, now we're going to pour our salt into our tray. You want enough salt to cover your tray quite a bit, maybe about halfway to the top of the lid. This is not an exact amount, but you want a good amount to cover the entire bottom of your tray. Ooh, I want a little bit more than that. Gently shake your salt to see that color covers the whole thing. And you would do the same thing if you're using a covered container. And if I was doing this, I would fill it about that much. So not even halfway, about a quarter of the way full. I'm gonna put that aside. So now you have your foundation and you can place your items in your tray. So I'm gonna put my rocks in my tray. I'm also going to, hmm, I'm gonna put my little vase in the tray. See how I feel about it. And guess what? You have made your Zen garden. It's complete. Now comes the best part. Use your sticks or your fork to create designs in your garden. So 
surround your rocks, your items with designs. So you have your garden. Now you can make designs in it with your fork. You can use both ends of the fork. You can take your rocks out and rearrange it. You can put different things in. You can change it up. Use my stick. You can even take all of your rocks out and practice your writing. So, for those little ones, we can practice our letters A, capital A, whoops, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, Or you can practice your spelling words. Let's try tomato. T O M A T O. Um, garden. G A R D E N. And every time it comes back to fresh. I hope you have so much fun making your salt zen garden. Think about what do you want to put in your garden? You could put totally different things. I think rocks are great, but you could put something else. It's up to you. I just hope that this will be something that you can turn to for relaxation of your mind, comfort, focus so that you have the, the energy and the vision to move forward and keep growing and learning and becoming the person you are called to be. Have a great week and I will see you soon.